Okay, so this is what's left of, we had a nice little square. It was all covered up with hay. Um, we were going to do the roost out method. And pretty much everything just kind of washed. Um, the hay is washed pretty much almost away. Um, it just kind of looks like it spewed down through here. Um, yeah, it pretty much did. But then, if that's not insult enough to my gardening experience, I come out here and I find these holes right here. If there were seeds, look, all along this, something has been out here and dug up my seeds. This is not funny. It's bad enough I got to contend with flooding. It's bad enough I have to actually, you know, learn in these conditions <laughs> to have a, something come and just insult me. I mean, there these holes are all over, like in all the hay. Anything that we did plant, um, I'm going to assume, has washed away. We had seeds out here. Now we're just finding holes. So... <sighs> I'm about ready to have them just till this in and try it the old-fashioned way and see if that doesn't get me any better results. <laughs> I don't know if that's terrible or not. Okay, so here's the strawberries. I did pick up this little plant right here and this little plant right here for RJ um, at the farmer's market to support local. And he, <laughs> the goats, ate back his strawberries again. So I've, I'm protecting them. Um, the culprit is now putting the timeout pen for a while until he forgets about it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. I, I'm not betting on strawberries. We should be having strawberries right now. And, yeah, we don't even have any blooms. We don't have any anything. We have leaves coming in. But, yeah, not exactly the way he wanted his... Um, strawberries to go again the mint um, and the lemon balm are doing wonderful this whole bed will be full um, I've been harvesting out of it and I have I've been harvesting more of the mint as you can tell than the lemon balm I don't know why but uh, I do have to pull the tall grass that's Johnson grass and this bed's been in place for a while now and I'm gonna guess that the cardboard and wool that were under there probably are not creating much of a barricade anymore so but that's okay i'm just gonna leave it as it as it is pull out what i don't want the taller stuff that steals from the sun and that's it um it's a pretty good little bed going good uh the grow tower we have worms in there i checked and the worms are living um we have a little compost in there it does flood out a lot um i say a lot not really a lot but it does, because we don't have any plants in there yet, everything sifts down through. So we're going to work on getting our plants just a little bit bigger before we bring them out here. The seeds for this thing. Oh, we have one. It looks like we have one. Ah. This is supposed to be a cucumber bush. Um, it's supposed to reach three foot in diameter. And pickles or cucumbers are supposed to be great for pickling. It has, this container has drainage on the bottom. They're planted. Ah, uh, but that's the only one we have coming up right now. This is a weed. Dang it. Thought it wasn't. I was trying. Anyway, so maybe we'll just have one and I can scoot it over and make it look good. <laughs> Who knows? Um, then we have, if I had, if there was a market for buttercups, I would be a rich, rich woman because do you see this? The entire orchard is covered in buttercups. Now the problem is, is those are bad for sheep and goats. So, yeah. Not a good thing. Alright, the walking onions. Um, I am going to dig some of these out because they're really thick. And I'm going to take them to a gentleman for a start at the farmer's market. And then I'm probably going to take some with me as um, winter onions or walking it, whatever you want to say. So I'm probably going to harvest some of these. I'm not going to harvest any from this little bed. And what I think I'm going to start doing is harvesting half. And the big ones. And leaving these guys so that you can throw the tops over and get the second. Because if you remember, this is our tops that Megan the woofer came. And she pulled off of this and put over there. And they all took off wonderfully. Now we had something get them right here. So I threw a top down right in here. And look at all that. So, walking onions, I can do. I don't know what to do with them, 
but I got that. And they're starting to escape. I'm gonna try and harvest this out of here too, just because. But anyway, they're starting to escape. And so, anyway, they'll be harvested. They're doing good though. Um, those are from my granny's garden, along with the mint and the lemon balm and all that is from my granny's garden. So, these two beds are my granny's. Um, this is a peach tree that they said was dead. So, yeah, it's dead. That's dead. See it? It's dead. I'm teasing. The Master Gardeners came out and it only had three little stalks. And they told me that it probably wouldn't come back and I just needed to plant another one. And I guess I really shouldn't listen to people because God's going to do what God's going to do. And if you see, it's big. It's big. It doesn't have like one single trunk though, so I'm hoping it'll kind of grow together. But then again, this other little peach tree over here doesn't have a single trunk type either. Ooh, there we go. Crawdad hole. Big old crawdad hole. Oh, I don't know if anybody's home. But anyway, this one is the peach tree that the bull <sighs> killed. Well, I thought he killed. He took a big segment of it out. If you remember that, it was a few years ago. Um, if you see, people told me that this was disease. RJ tried to um, duct tape it back together, blah, blah, blah. Um, we had to take these down and try and... Anyway, yeah. This is the peach tree that the bull got. And as you can tell, we have peaches now I'm hoping this year to get to them before the birds do there is more than there was last year so I realize that they're not huge yet um, my next thing is I'm gonna have to learn how to tell if they're ripe I guess I'm just gonna have to try and eat one but anyway every branch has some on it they're they're really doing good um, there are some little sticks that I'm gonna have to prune back February we're gonna do pruning this time I'm not going to wait for the Master Gardeners because if the... Oh, I even got little leaves in there. If the weather doesn't do, they just won't come out because, well, it's not optimal pruning time. Okay, guys. We haven't had a winter where our stuff has gone dormant in two or three years. So they came out and it still wasn't dormant last time. And so, yeah. We're going to keep trying. But I've got this apple tree and this little apple tree here which I just need to top them. So, and that'll happen this year too. And if you look, we have little apples on it. We have little apples on it. Yes. I don't know, they're, they're supposed to be bigger than that, I'm pretty sure, before they turn red, but we're supposed to have green apples and red apples. I don't know which ones are which, but I do know we have a lot of sucklers where the, um, Master Gardeners came out and trimmed off. We have a lot of sucklers that came up. And I need to thin those out again. So we're going to thin those out. And that. And then, of course, our two pear trees. Which, I had a pear tree in Noata. And so, that was at the old house. And if you look, there's pears up there. I actually know a little bit about pears. We successfully grew pears in our front yard in town. Um, yeah, I I'm just kind of happy that this one's starting to put on you know we just have one or two up there They're, most of them are at the top again we're gonna top these this winter I want it top so that we don't have to climb up there with ladders so anyway little apple tree down there one there and we're back to the garden so it's a garden update and then of course our seedlings I'm working on it that's all I can say